What's up everybody? New week, new video. And today's video is about my Duo Sonic that I have over here. I have it for almost two weeks now. And I've played it a lot. And there are some things that I like about this guitar, but there are also some things that I don't like about that guitar. And that is something that I want to talk about in today's video. So I would say let's go. So point number one. I have it on my phone again. Um, pro number one for me is it has a it is light and it has a short neck. So we can talk about that first. So um, yeah, it's pretty light. It's something like under three kilograms. I think it's two point eight kilograms. And I showed it in my last video. I think that six point four pounds or whatever. So it's pretty light and the neck is pretty short. And that is something that. Some people don't like about the guitar, that is something that I like about the guitar. Um, which is weird, because I expected that I would like it. So, But then I tried it and I like it. And yeah, it's a pretty compact feeling and I, I really love to have it all a bit more together, so I would say. So I really like it that I can play it. That I have it a bit more yeah together it is lighter it is more it is more here so there's something that i really like it turns out in the last two weeks so when i play my telecaster now it seems like i have a giant guitar in my hand so it's a bit weird playing normal guitars after you played short scale guitars for two weeks and if you don't know what a short scale guitar is it means it's a scale between the bridge and my nut and it's 24 inches on this guitar, usually it's just 25 and a half on a standard straight or tell. Yeah, that's, that's it. Let's talk about the first con of the list. The first con on the list is it has super low output. Um, that is something that you have to get in, get used to it. So um, sometimes I, when I play it, I have the feeling that I miss something. Uh, and I miss some juice in it. So I mean it's a steak and you have green beans and you have potatoes and I mean that is a good meal it is steak with beans and potatoes nothing wrong with that but where's the sauce so and that is the problem that I have with the guitar a bit that there's always this there not always but a lot of the, a lot of times and during the last two weeks I have this, I had this feeling that um, something was missing so a bit and this is this kind of charm of a Duosonic and all the Mustangs and whatever. They sound a bit, uh, they sound a bit cheap in a way and a bit, I don't know, not so driven. And yeah. Um, but let's head over to um, Pro number two. I would say let's go. Pro number two, and that is something that I love about this Duosonic for now. Um, I have to say, um, always switching my mind i will keep it i will send it back i'll keep it i send it back it's so love and hate all the time so that is something that is super weird on this guitar usually when i pick up a guitar after a few hours of playing sometimes i just I just need seconds or minutes or whatever i know that i like the guitar or i don't like the guitar so that is pretty weird on this one because um yeah, I don't know. It always changed my mind. Sometimes I pick it up and I play it clean in the amp. That's how I play it most of the time. Um, even when it's pretty super cool sounding when you put a fuss on it. I didn't expect that, but I use fuss almost all the time. It's my main um, gain sound or distortion sound. And I used it and I was like, wow, damn, that's the sound. So if you use it, um, and I read it in reviews or whatever, you can't use it as a solo artist, it's totally stupid, it's not right. Um, yeah, I played it with a fascinator, I no, burst my brain. So, a good point is that it has a super clear fandery sound. So, um, yeah, you hear every note, and I will make a, a audio demo only, not now, I will do it in the next video. Um, yeah, then I will just upload audio samples that I will mic and whatever so you can hear it and no talking, just audio samples of the guitar. But for now, let's talk about the guitar. Um, yeah, that's it. You have a pretty fendery clear sound that you hear every single note. 
that is something good, because I really love that. But that is also something that is super challenging, because you hear everything. So, um, you have to play super precise in everything. So it's good, it's bad. You mean, that's what I'm talking about. It's good, it's bad. So it's love and hate. All at the same time, I play it. It's super clean. And you can play it super delicately and whatever. And Campbell Nungo stuff and Duke Levine stuff. And so super melodic, super delicate stuff. And the way you have to hear every nuance of your playing or whatever. That is super good. But, it's, yeah, not, but on the other hand, um, it is super challenging. So that was a lot. And let's head over to con number two. Yeah, con number two is um, it don't have so much sustain. So really, when you play it acoustically, um, it could be that the uh, um, accord or wow, the accord. <laughs> There's a German. It could be when you play a chord, then it could ring for a while. It's still ringing, still ringing, still ringing, uh, but, but most of the time I play single notes with it or, or single note based melody lines or whatever with some kind of chord structure around it from time to time. Um, yeah, that's something that I'm missing a bit. Um, it, the sustain is missing a bit, so yeah. But that's also, that's, that's a typical offset thing, in my experience, so. Um, let's head over to Pro number 3. Pro number 3, it has three totally unique sounds. And that is something that I mean how I say it. And we have a three-way switch up here, like a Les Paul, so we can choose, I mean, you know, bridge, bows, and neck. And um, it sounds super different on every position. That is something that I don't always experience on Fender guitars, not so much. Sometimes when I played several Telecasters at a guitar store or whatever, and I switched from the middle position to the neck position, I barely hear a difference. I mean, for sure, there is some kind of a difference. And there are Telecasters and wirings and everything. Where you hear it more and where you hear it less. And so, I mean, I know all of that. So, um, but something, sometimes, I mean, I love tellies more than anything, more than my do sonic, more than my strip, whatever. I'm a super huge tally master, tally master guy, telecaster guy. But um, sometimes I miss that. And when you play do sonic and you play it on the bridge, it totally sounds totally unique. And totally do sonic -y. so it's the sound that you just find on a dual sonic. When we switch to the middle position, some people say it starts to sound like a strat, and I agree with that in, in a way, because I can hear what they, why they think, or why they mean that it will sound, or that it sounds like a strat in a way, because you have this um, shiny, glassy. Fender clean twangy thing happening, so it's it sounds pretty familiar in a way, but it also sounds super super unique in a way. So um, and then the third position on the neck position, it's super unique again. So it's it's pretty lush sounding, super big sounding. Is that something that you can work with if you want to? Um, and that's also the point about the guitar. Um, it's a guitar that you have to work with and for and anything because it's it's a challenging to play it's not a Les Paul or whatever so it's super hard to play it has, it has a super dry sound super clear you can hear anything super percussive sound and all of that um, turns this guitar that started as a student model of guitar into a guitar that I experience way harder to play than a Stratocaster or a Telecaster or a Les Paul, which was my first guitar. No, my first guitar was the Squire Strat, but my first real guitar was um, the Les Paul behind me. And it was way easier to play because you have more output and anything, more signal and anything that goes into the chain um, that makes it easier to play. So it's, I mean, 
it's special and I get it why people like it, I get it why people hate it. As I said, sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it, so it depends. So, yeah, let's head over to the last con, that is something that is a bit personal taste or whatever, but something that I don't like about the guitar are the tuner machines. I talked about that in the video before. Whoop. Pretty standard. But um, the problem that I have with that kind of style of tuning machines is that I love 50 style tuning machines way more. And they are stable. I don't have many tuning issues sometimes a bit, but not nothing pretty serious or whatever. But um, in general, I love it to I love 50 style tuners so you can put the string up above and just wrap them around and and it's easier to restring and easier to handle and I, I have the feeling that the tuning tuning stability is a bit more balanced and better on 50 style mechanics. So, so that's it for the video. It's a short one, maybe a bit chaotic. I had my second vaccine today. Ouch. Um, so I'm super tired, but there's a space of time in my life where I was, where I was like, what could I do now? And I played House Flipper on a Nintendo Switch and I was like, yeah, I love this game. And I was like, yeah, I will play for 20 more hours, I don't care. Yeah, that's it about to do Sonic. Um, for me, um, if I would give it a name, I mean, it has a name already. Um, it's a, the, the name is El Dorado, in a way, because uh, it's gold. And if you don't know the story about El Dorado, you should check it out. I think there's a Disney movie about all of that. Maybe not super historic, correct, or whatever, but uh, I would check it out. So, it's a good movie. I love Disney, so it's out. That's it for the video. Um, the guitar is some kind of, uh, maybe that's some, to sum it up, it's a bit like, oh my god, I don't know the English word again. I'm so messed up. I don't even know the German word right now. So that's it for the video today. Um, my recommendation would be, um, try them. They have a unique sound, um, but and, and I think that's something that is always there. It's some kind of this love and hate relationship because it's not so um, round and easy to play or handle like a Telecaster or a Stratocaster. But to be honest, I also have this love and hate thing on my Strat a, a bit sometimes. I don't have it on my Tele really. Every time I pick up my Tele, I'm like, oh my god, yeah. On my Strat sometimes I'm like, oh my god, no. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason that I don't play it so often. Um, yeah. But well, that's it for the video today. I hope you liked it. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe, whatever. Check me out on Instagram or whatever you know all of that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.